All right, I've had the question asked to me, how much does it cost for a C-band satellite system? And I'm going here at Tech 2000 for a uh, eight foot dish. And this includes everything with the, um, um, the de-inclination de meter, the LMB, a receiver, a dish mover, an actuator, um, a pole and uh, a pole and the rest of the dish. Uh, it's about 649 uh, in USD. And just to give that contrast for a 12 footer, not a 12 footer, sorry, for a 10 footer, uh, you get all that as well. Uh, receiver and meters and all that. Um, and it's about thousand dollars. So I'll just go through the list here. I don't think the one thing that I don't think is listed in here is the um, um, a cable coax cable and also you need some special to your dish you'll need about four wires for this thing here which is your super power jack mover you'll need like four wires running alongside your um, coax to um, be able to move your actuator um, tech 2000 does sell a spool of cable that has that kind of it molded into the plastic so you can run it all as one um, one piece out to where your dish is and always shorter is better so like my example where I have mine right close to the house so that means it's less of a run of cable so just go through which uh, it, you'll need you'll need an actuator uh, you'll need a your actuate yeah, the actuator you'll need the <laughs> positioner uh, which is the, that thing there this thing Oh, sorry, I'm moving around here. That thing, the positioner. Now I've done a review on the um, on the V box, and uh, I also have this uh, Super Jack um, a device now, and I'm actually using this one now. The reason is the remote for this one compared to my older um, uh, V box is so much more durable. The V box remote was like falling apart in my hand. I almost had to was near, almost to the point where I had to put tape around it. So this is including a very high quality uh, 4K Z Gamma receiver, which uh, is probably one of the best receivers on the market right now. It's my full-time receiver right now. Uh, and every receiver is going to have its pros and cons, but uh, I like it because I can surf through my channels really fast. Um, so just go to the includes. Includes a C, KU combo, LMB. So yeah, you get the LMB will come with this, these packages. Your Sat Hero meter, so you, you can help tune your dish. Now there's two ways to tune the dish. Uh, you can use one of these meters and they help, but I am a, a, I, I prefer actually having the receiver and the TV set out in the uh, uh, with the dish while I'm trying to tune the LMB and get the azimuth all uh, set up. But uh, these can help as well. Uh, especially if you're doing a CKU mount and you want to look at your KU band on the receiver and then also make sure you still have the C band on uh, on your LMB, which is fun fun stuff to do. So yeah, this goes through all the specs. You can go to the site here. I'll, put, I'll have a link to it in the comments. So that's generally how much it costs for a satellite dish. So this is like a big 10-footer uh, C band uh, dish. Uh, it's about that, about about a thousand dollars, which actually compared to I think back in the nineties, um, the early nineties, I remember seeing an ad for thousands of dollars. So there's that. Now another thing that you'll need is the concrete. So you'll have to dig a hole. You can either dig it with a shovel or dig it with an auger. Get an auger and dig it out, and that, and then you'll need to put the concrete in the ground, mix it up, and put the pole in the ground. Now it's always recommended three feet deep. Um, because of the frost line. If you can't uh, do that, uh, hopefully uh, you, you know how to uh, know how to put holes in the ground. I wasn't uh, overly an expert of doing holes in the ground, but I got a friend of mine to help me uh, set up with a pole just uh, to know how to get it. And I, I was fortunately where I put mine, I was able to get three feet down and pretty much um, two and a half feet wide hole. It was a pretty big hole I put in my backyard. And then I stuck the pole in there. So there's all that uh, is probably the extra costs, which you'll need to, uh, on top of this will probably be your cable 
and uh, concrete and the time it takes to put the hole in the ground and the time it takes to set it up. So that's what um, you're looking at uh, bottom line of getting a satellite dish. Now, $1,000 or even if you get it, go with an eight footer. Here's a, here's a solid dish, which uh, I've had people tell me solids are better. Um, and I think because of the reason why I've got the same results, somebody wrote to me in my com in the comments that the design of the newer dishes are more efficient than the old Black Beauty that I've had for that's over 30 years old. So that could explain some things why the mesh dish has gotten uh, just as good uh, reception than my old solid dish. It's just more mo modern dishes have better designs. So yeah, if you need to get a satellite dish, go to tech2000.com, uh, and uh, they have a whole bunch of things, as I say in the in the videos, um, for your dish. Like you can you can buy things separately, and uh, like say if you had a dish already, you needed to get it going. It has all the things you could buy separately too here on their website. So thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe with all of your friends, and uh, please come back and watch these videos and learn about satellite and. Also, I'd like to thank people for their comments because somebody made a comment in the comments about how much, uh, what, what do I need. So this kind of goes over everything you'll need and how much it costs. All right, so have a good day.